Yeah. Yeah. I come and never sleep on me I saw my chain, so good night, go get what you're looking at Full night, noon, hoodie, mong tong, it go Find your comfort from another, yeah I got low like on the Hello everyone, tonight I'm going to be cooking ribeye steak with asparagus and <laughs> homemade mashed potatoes. Alright, so look, right now I've already cut, um, took care of some stuff already with the potatoes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this last one so that people can see that I actually peeled the potato. Alright, so you just basically peel it, just try to keep it away from yourself. But just you know get all the skin off of there because this is very very important right you don't want to have skin on there while you're trying to make the well you can depending you do have some potatoes um like red potatoes and stuff like that but yeah i'm just peeling this off so that uh i can put it in with the others that i have and then these bad boys are going in the pot so that they can sit and cook up so i can smash them later Okay, now for the asparagus. All right, now that's done. And always remember, sharpen your knife. I gotta resharpen it. <laughs> but it's all good, things happen. Just always remember to sharpen every time you're cutting something or using something. All right, now we're moving on to the next part. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is take this garlic right here Break it down. Let's see. Let's see if we're gonna pop it. Pop it. Woo! I got garlic everywhere. Pop it a little bit too hard, but it's all good. I got the pieces I need. It's broken off. Mmm. You smell that. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. All right. So, I got this all ready to go. And let me get to the next part because uh, right now I got to deal with the potatoes and everything and put those in. All right, now I'm gonna have my potatoes and I'm about to break these down so I can put them in this pan and boil them. So as you can see, whoa, can't let nothing like that happen. I'm just gonna cut them down a little bit, cut them into a couple chunks. I'm gonna break them down later. Put these in the pan. Yeah, that bad boy got away from me a little bit. It's all good. This is air support. We've lost the suspect. It's all good. Not going anywhere. All right. Number two. All right, now it's time to season this beautiful rib eye steak. So I have some really good stuff here. It's fleur de sel. You can see it, I think it's there. Uh, this is really good uh, finishing sea salt. I like it. I put it on the steaks. They taste really, really good. So let's load this bad boy up with plenty of salt. Never under season your food. Then I'm gonna add some pepper to it. Make sure you get all that seasoning. If anything that's on there, make sure it gets in the fat everywhere so that you can, so get it on the sides, all of that. 
because I have a lot on here. You wanna make sure it's all sealed in there too. All right, now we're done with that. So let's move on to the next step. All right, it's time to put the steak on the heat. Y'all about to check this out right now. Here we go, here we go. That looks beautiful. Well, let me get to work. All right, still working on the steak. It's about to come out. You know, you, saw, you see it on the other camera, but I'm telling you, the rosemary, the garlic, the butter, everything smells good. So I'm gonna get this out. I gotta get these mashed potatoes taken care of, but it's gonna, be, it's gonna all come together. And it's gonna be so good. Watch this. Me first. All right, now it's time to mash these potatoes up. I'm about to do the potato mash. The potato mash. Probably will add some more, right? But I got it going. The goal is to make these nice and creamy. Let's hold on a second. Hold it right there. Hold it right there and put a little more butter in here. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Butter, 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 butter. I probably have some music in the background. Just trying to get this knocked out. All right. Mm, look at that. Yeah. Hold on, now I'm gonna add, I add some heavy cream in here. A little bit at a time, just till we figure things out. Now for me, a lot of times I kind of can just roll with the, uh, with how much I can kind of see what's going on. So, yes, here we go. Let's make this thing nice and creamy, just a little bit at a time, that's how you want to add it. You don't want to make it too smush, smush, smush. All right, let's see. There you go, it's getting there. Look at it, ooh, that is beautiful right there. Yeah. All right, hold that thought right there. We'll get some salt, put some salt in there. Plenty of salt, plenty of salt, plenty of salt. Gotta salt it up. Never be afraid to use salt, especially in mashed potatoes. A little bit more heavy whipping cream. I love, 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 love cream in mashed potatoes. So I just basically put salt, butter in here. Um, Sometimes I add other seasonings, but for now I'm just gonna put this in there and I think it's really, really good. So we're gonna go to one more step, one more step we have left. And then I'm gonna do the whole plating thing and <laughs> we're good. All right, be right back. Okay, last thing, last thing is the asparagus, which is in here right now. Now, kind of toasting it without, without the olive oil. But olive oil is going in here in one second. We're gonna get this done, trying to bring out the flavor, trying to bring out the flavor of this first, right? Actually, I saw Gordon Ramsay do it this way and I like the way he did it. So I like making it this way. I do it other ways, but I like making it like this. So now, here we go, here we go. Time to add that olive oil. Yeah. You hear that? You hear that? Yes. Okay. Let me let me put a little bit of salt in there. Hold on, you can leave it over there. A 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this doesn't have to cook long. Not at all. All right. Put a little pepper. Yes. There we go. Now we cook it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just move that around a little bit. Okay, it looks good too. Let's see, you wanna get a close up on that form. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so there we go, there we go. Mm -hmm. Just gonna put a touch of butter in there. Cause they can't stay in here long. They'll easily get overcooked. And I don't want that. And it's almost time for them to come out. Turn my pan down. Ooh. Oh man, go in on that, go in on that for him. Yeah, get a close up on that. There you go. Y'all like that? That's what I'm talking about. Now, last stage, last stage. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ooh. Tell me you don't like that. Mm -hmm. Move it up off the heat. You know the pan's gonna stay hot anyway. Beautiful, splendid. I'm gonna put this on, get this out of the pan, and we are done.